All right, everyone. If you haven't already noticed, um, it's big mess test time. <laughs> All right, I have the Bissell Power Room Bagless Upright Vacuum right here. I have a huge assortment of trash all over this room. I have pet hair and dirt, sand, like pink sand, cat litter, large bits of like litter, other types of cat litter. This, these large chunks right here, and hair, bits of napkins, sand. I have three different types of rugs here. I have a textured rug, a thicker carpet, and a low pile rug. We're gonna vacuum up all this, and we're gonna see if this Bissell dies or not. <laughs> But no, we're not going to see, oh, what did I step? Yep, or dirt. So I have the Bissell here. We're going to start off on this rug. Keep it basically on the same setting the whole time. And let's go. Oh, I'm actually going to set up the uh, door stand differently. The door's open because it's so dusty. So we're going to stop for just a second and pop out our dust tank. You can see it's completely full. Oh my lord. I'm just going to put it right there. Look at all that. This machine is doing a good job already. We're going to take off the cyclone pack, or whatever you call this thing. And we're going to knock off all this hair. There's a lot of hair stuck on that. All clean. We're gonna see how dirty the filter gets. The filter was washed and completely cleaned before this test started. So we're just gonna keep going and to see how dirty this filter gets. See if this machine could tackle all this mess without dying. <laughs> but this is already going well and it's very fun, trust me. I love watching big mess tests and I'm gonna be doing more of my own. So set the height to one.
some switching hands. suction power because the cyclone is clogged but you know this is a not realistic example <laughs> this is so much dirt <laughs> I'm just kind of crazy right now but look at all that you can see there's pet hair hanging off of this part right here and we've completely coated that part right there in dust there goes that it doesn't matter if this room gets dirty I have a whole bunch of vacuums out here of course this is my vacuum storage area my hand is getting tired. Let me switch hands one second. I had to do that multiple times. Look at this though. This is incredible. This is going so well. I can't believe I haven't killed this Bissell yet. These are pretty good vacuums. Of course, they're not like Dyson or Hoover good, but they're still pretty good machines for the money. I have a, another big mess test planned for soon of a different vacuum, a Hoover actually. So here we go. Alright, let's set it to four to go to this. Let's check how dirty the brush room is. Yeah, there's definitely some dirty brush rooms.
bin is full again. It's actually way past the backslide and all that. Look at how much dirt I've got right here. I'm still not done yet with this dirt. <laughs> this is so dirty. I'm not used to handling this much nastiness. This is filthy. But that's the point of a big mess test. Okay. Now that the majority of the mess is picked up, let's go back over again and see how much debris is still left in the carpet. All right, should we use the same vacuum or should we use a different vacuum? And we use the same one. Hmm, maybe. Well, no, let me check my vacuum corner. Hmm, React, Kirby, Dyson, Shark. Now, I'll save those for another time. Let's continue with the Bissell Power Groom. Bagless, for now, I have those all those other machines planned for a big mess test. The shark may not be able to handle it though, I don't know.
on this mess test. Well, let's look. There's still a few particulates left. There's definitely didn't pick up all the sand, but let's take, open this up and we'll see what's in here. Yeah, there's definitely still some more litter. You can see there's a massive quantity of dirt right here. That's mostly just cat litter and other nastiness. You can see the machine has let all of this pet hair through. Actually, never mind. That must have fallen down. But the machine's filter is very dirty. But past the filter doesn't look too bad. Let's check our post motor filter. Let's tap it out. Some dirt has definitely gotten to the post motor filter. It's definitely gotten through. It's definitely, yeah. This is an extreme example. So the, the pre-motor filter did a pretty good job at keeping the mess out, but it definitely wasn't perfect. You can see it's pretty fogged up after all that now. Let's see if that's just dust stuck up there or if it's that is a permanent fog. Yeah, that's permanent. Whatever, it's a cheap vacuum. But let's check the brush roll. You can see, eh, there's not much tangled in the brush roll. I thought all that pet hair would be stuck in there. But it's not, but that's pretty good. It did a decently impressive job. It's not as good as I th thought it would, but I'm gonna run another vacuum over this area and see how much sand this Bissell has missed and see if there's any sand left in this carpet, see if a Dyson can pick it up, and then I'll show you the results soon. Stay tuned, everyone. Hope you really enjoyed this big mess test. I spent a decent bit of time setting this up. I had to pick all these rugs and unroll them and get them all ready. So I hope you enjoyed and stay tuned for more. Let me know what you think in the comments.